health. Rems is going to come in here, charging on the way. He's going to be in a good position to smite this one, though. However, he's going to get knocked back by the shoot of Ana. Very excellent job there, and nice job at turning this one around. Hey everybody, this is Frank, your all-knowing gamer, coming at you with a League of Legends learning moment. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between when you should press B and just teleport yourself home, and when you should run yourself home. So in order to do that, we're going to have to take a look at a series of clips, and I'm going to go over them and organize them for you and tell you exactly what's going on in each clip. So in this first segment, we're going to be looking at exactly where constitutes as being on the platform. Now, it's, it's important to note that being on the platform is going to be the point where you're going to start regenerating mana and health, and as well as uh, you're going to be able to shop. So you need to find that. The way we did that, of course, is we just drained Misfortune of a little bit of mana, and then we uh, had her crouch just very slowly up towards the platform. And you can see as soon as her mana starts regenerating, that is the point where you are considered being on the platform. You don't need to be in the middle or anything like that of the platform in order for it to constitute you being on the platform. So we're gonna use this as our starting point because using the middle of the platform, I think would be a little bit excessive for this little experiment here. So that's uh, the first clip here, guys. And yeah, we're gonna move on to uh, the starting the experiments from that point forward. Okay, moving on quickly guys here, this is going to be test number one of how fa far you can go in the time that it takes Misfortune to go back with a Nunu here at 315 move speed, no speed amplifiers, no speed quints, no boots or anything like that, not using his W, just basic 315 move speed, how far you can travel before... Um, you before I press stop right at the end of it now I do want to note that some of these measurements are not going to be perfect because I sometimes I start maybe h Half a second or stop half a second too slow or too fast now I want you guys to note that the difference that I travel is really going to be only a matter of pixels so um, If you're gonna make a judgment don't judge it exactly where he stops judge it a little bit afterwards or before <laughs> All right, this next clip, one. same criteria. We're going to be using level one boots, making Nunu 365 move speed. So only 50 move speed faster on this one. And just note the place where he stops. All right, moving on, we've got level two boots. We're just going to use a basic ninja tabby here. You can use Merc Treads, Ninja Tabby, Berserker's Greaves, basically anything that just gives you level two move speed. Um, it's going to bump me up another 30 move speed to 385, so just watch where he lands here. All right, in the next clip, we're going to be watching Ramus here. He's got Boots of Swiftness, 400 move speed, and you guys can tell that the move speed that you gain is going to go from level one you're going to gain 30 or sorry 50 move speed level 2 you're going to gain only another 30 and then if you go for boots of swiftness which is level 3 it's only an extra 15 move speed guys so keep that in mind while you're watching this clip and just note where ramus ends up as well Okay guys, in this next one we wanted to give you guys a look at something like a uh, speed amplifier, such as Ramus's Powerball. We're going to see exactly how fast he's going to travel. Uh, he does peak out at 706 at the end of the Powerball. So if you have something like, uh, like a Ramus going and you have enough mana to go back, this is the point that you would stop at. And I do want to point out that it's actually not much farther. Um, you know, you can tell there is a difference, but it's actually not as much as I think one would suspect. So just note where he lands here. Okay, guys, same thing in this clip, except for I'm going to give him my new new level 3W. Just kind of adding a little bit of to his speed, and he gets up to 757 at his peak. And uh, yeah, he does hit a creep at the end, but it pretty well times out exactly when he should be stopping anyways. Okay, in this last clip, we're going to be looking at Miss Fortune, who's got a stable 491 move speed. She's got move quint, speed quints, she's got the boots of mobility, and she's got uh, her passive at full um, charge. So we're going to be watching this one and see where she ends up. And this is, I think, one of the farthest ones, so keeping at a constant speed might be better. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the video, guys, here. Just take a look at where she lands there. And uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. I just wanted to show you guys that there is, uh, you know, 
know, some learning moments to be had in League of Legends, some things that I think a lot of people don't really look into necessarily. So I do hope that this guy this helps you guys out in your gameplay and that you can decide whether it's best to press B and just go home, even if you're sitting there right next to your inner turret. Sometimes that's the best thing to do depending on what your move speed is. So something to keep in mind, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to more League of Legends content. I'm going to be doing shout casting, uh, streaming. I'm going to be casting... Uh, a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm going to be giving you guys these League of Legends learning moments as well. So if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and look forward to more content. This is Frank, your all-knowing gamer, guys. Until next time, this is League of Legends learning moment number one. Thanks for watching.